I'll be famous one day. But for now, I'm stuck in middle school with a bunch of morons. Diary of a Wimpy Kid was written and illustrated by Jeff Kinney and published by Puffin. Okay, hang on a minute. What's happened to this library book? I mean, look at it. It looks like someone took it into the shower. Don't take library books into the shower. Treat them nicely. All right, continue. It is about 11-year-old Greg Hefley, his family, and his best friend, Rowley. Every day, Greg goes to school and worries about girls, the big kids, and whether anyone is going to make him look silly. One day, he plays a trick on some smaller children, but his friend Rowley gets into trouble for it. Soon, Rowley has a new best friend, and Greg is wondering what he should do. Diary of a Wimpy Kid is a graphic novel, which means the pictures and words work together to tell the story. It is written as a diary and covers a year in Greg's life. The story is realistic, so there are no superheroes or talking mice, but it makes a lot of jokes about life, school, family and everything else. It is not an action-packed adventure. Most of what happens is quite normal, but because Greg is an interesting character, we are interested in reading about him. I loved this book. It is laugh out loud funny and really enjoyable to read. There were so many situations that I remember from school. Girls writing notes about boys, boys who seem so much more grown up than me, or people pretending to have some sort of a bad touch. The English is not too easy. Some of the words and things will be strange to young people in Hong Kong, but the story is very simple, so overall it is easy to read. I think it is about friendship and growing up and how difficult it can be to be 11. I remember it well. Here are my ratings. Here's a sample. Wednesday. Today we had Fizz Ed, so the first thing I did when I got outside was sneak off to the basketball court to see if the cheese was still there. And sure enough, it was. That piece of cheese has been sitting on the court since last spring. I guess it must have dropped out of someone's sandwich or something. After a couple of days, the cheese started getting all mouldy and nasty. Nobody would play basketball on the court where the cheese was, even though that was the only court that had a hoop with a net. Then one day, this kid named Darren Walsh touched the cheese with his finger, and that's what started this thing called the cheese touch. It's basically like the cooties. If you get the cheese touch, you're stuck with it until you pass it on to someone else. The only way to protect yourself from the cheese touch is to cross your fingers. But it's not that easy remembering to keep your fingers crossed every moment of the day. I ended up taping mine together so they'd stay crossed all the time. I got a D in handwriting, but it was totally worth it. This one kid named Abe Hall got the cheese touch in April and nobody would even come near him for the rest of the year. This summer, Abe moved away to California and took the cheese touch with him. I just hope someone doesn't start the cheese touch up again because I don't need that kind of stress in my life anymore. <laughs>